see if my Lassiodora parahibana is interested in eating superworms. It's coaxed her out of her little tunnel. Try to land it as close to her as I can. She went right past it. But there, she's got it. I'm sure she's got a good grip, and then I'll give her another one. And she's full grown. She'll be the uh, fourth largest tarantula in the world. She's already on her way there. I keep saying she. I hope this one doesn't turn out to be a male. They don't live as long, and I had a male once of this species that died of old age after only a few years. All right, here comes another superworm. Oh, almost got it. This is hard to pick up. There we go. I got it. Drop it close to her. She should take it. Yep. She dropped the first one, though. Oh, she picked it up again. Oh, she dropped it. It's going to be a mouthful for her. For the species is the uh, Brazilian salmon pink bird eating tarantula. But Latin names are a lot easier to use for tarantulas, so this is uh, Lassiodora parahibana. Moving on. So my uh, Somalpius ruminia, or Venezuelan sun tiger, is definitely hungry because she came charging out of here at full speed. When I use the tongs to uh, test, let's see what she'll take. Yeah, she's got it. Nice. She's down in there now, though. They're an arboreal rainforest species from Venezuela. They'll make little tube webs inside of uh, hollow trees like this, and in the clefts in between branches. So this is my Brachypelma vegans, or uh, Mexican red rump tarantula. I'll land the superworm close to her and see if the vibrations attract her attention. Oh, might, might be too far. Nope, she's going for it. Now, did you see? She couldn't really see it. Spiders are nearly blind, so she had to pinpoint its location from its vibrations. And any time it stopped moving, she wasn't sure where it was anymore, and she stopped to, to wait for it to move again. She's injecting her venom into it now. Through the fangs. And then she'll start masticating it or chewing it with the fangs. And then making a chewing motion, turn its exoskeleton into a little ball, and suck out its insides pretty much. Let's see if my Gramostola rosea or a Chilean rose tarantula is hungry. Drop it next to her and she'll feel the vibrations. And I either eat it or if she's not hungry, she won't. Oh, she's got it. 
nice. This one is kind of the pet rock of the uh, trash hobby. It's one of the more uh, less interesting but calmer species. They they live in the uh, deserts of the uh, Atacama Desert in Chile. Typically, they'll be in little burrows underground. So this is where the only other tarantula that I have lives. My uh, um, Paterniculus murinus. It's my only Old World species, which is a that is to say, it's my only species with medically significant venom. Um, they're native to Africa. Very fast, and they're bright orange, which is why they have the nickname Orange Bitey Thing, or OBT for short. Now, I don't think we're actually going to see him at all. I think he's molting, which is why he webbed up all the entrances to his cave like extra. And if he's molting, he's not going to eat. It's a lot of webbing there. It's all wet because I just sprayed it. He webs up the water dish, and it. Um, it's hard to fill it, so I don't really keep water dish in here. I just missed it once in a while, and I could drink the water off the glass. 